Welcome back into Studio 10. And signs of spring are all around us, like the April showers that we're getting. <laughs> and I love that because that means those Mayflowers are getting ready to bloom. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go outside. Yes, for sure. <laughs> or make it more consistent. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, but I've got a little bit of cabin fever, and I think we're all cooped up. And you know who else probably is? Our pets. Our pets. Yes, <laughs> that's right. And a good point. It's been a long kind of snowy winter for them too. But as warmer weather heads our way, dog parks are finally opening up and Claudia is in the studio to share more. Hey there, Claudia. Hey guys. So I don't know about you and everybody watching, but my dog is completely fed up with this weather. He's going absolutely crazy. He's like chewing on things. He's just kind of being a little naughty. But I mean, if you think about it, it's been about five months since we had our first major snowstorm way back in November. So that's a really long time, but this week, local dog parks are finally open for the season, including my personal favorite, Northern Tail. Check it out. This is Tegan. And that's a sound Tegan has been waiting to hear all winter long. When that door opens, the possibilities are endless. Is it a new friend or could it be an old friend? If that's the case, they've got a lot of catching up to do. Julio is Tegan's owner, and Northern Tail Park is their favorite park. With two and a half acres of fenced-in parkland for dogs to run and play off leash, it's the perfect place to get those zoomies taken care of. And after a long, cold winter, opening day couldn't have come sooner. Uh, he loved to play with balls or whatever he found there. No matter what you bring, he had to find something there to play with. The park, located on the Bot Road, is right across from East Lansing Softball Complex and Aquatic Center, and there's two types of spaces. Tegan and Finn like to play here, where they can run around and play off-leash. But they know that's not every dog's favorite type of play. Just nearby, smaller dogs under 22 pounds have their own space to play off-leash. That way, there's a safe space for all dogs, no matter their size. Tegan loves to play with other dogs, but sometimes spending time with his owner is just what he needs. The Northern Tier Trail access is perfect for those days. Uh, normally we walk around, or sometimes at home, or in some dog parks for the, on the neighborhood. And the best part is that Julio knows Tegan is safe here. Dogs are required to have valid dog licenses or proof of vaccination before entering the park. Because he loves to come every single day, sometimes twice a day. And I think it's safe to say Tegan will be coming to his favorite spot very often. Yes, it's something that we like him to do also to interact with other dogs because at home he's the only dog that we have. So here we, he can socialize with other people and other dogs. And the best part about the park is that it is, you can see like clearly the two sections. So if you have a smaller dog or a dog who doesn't really love big dogs, like taking the ball from him, this is the perfect park for you. And of course, if you go to the Ingham County website, there are tons of other dog parks in the area that are probably closer to you as well. So yeah, check it out. I love that. Oh my gosh, lots of fun there yeah. uh, to check out. Now I need to get a dog so I can go to the dog park. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll see you over there. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Play fetch. Maybe I'll throw it and I'll see how far back I'll catch it. <laughs> not, not with you with the dog. Oh, ah, anyway, coming up on studio.